Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis. Today we're going to get into our meditations. So it depends on what, what you wish to meditate. Um, if you have stones and you love stones, then these are some suggestions. We can go with our lapis. As we said, it can be a truth stone for your um, throat chakra, but it can also be a grounding stone for your root chakra. Although you may imagine a grounding stone to be the color of red. Now, one of my favorites, because I have solar plexus anxieties at times, would be my aura stone and I chose yellow. Now these come in many colors um, and you can choose them as you wish according to your emotion. So they have red, purple, blue, green, um, but I chose yellow because I wanted it for my sacral chakra. Um, of course, onyx. Onyx is a very important stone, which is just for bringing positive energy and surrounding you with positives and deducting the negatives. So that's all the stones I will show you at the moment. Now we will try to get into our frame. So to get into your frame, you will want to do this. This is OM. Okay, so you would sit and put your, your hands in your lap. And in order to let go of all your mind's thoughts, you will just say, Om. Om. Now you want to imagine your root chakra at the beginning. Go with the Om and vibrate OM and be in your root chakra at this time. OM. Now we will go to the sacral chakra. So we take my hands, put them in this formation. Put that in my lap and I would say VAM, V-A-M, VAM. Vam. So you need to vibrate and your whole time of doing so, you do it until your mind lets go and you are in your sacral chakra, which is at your belly button. Vam. Now we will work on the solar plexus. Sorry for the chair. The solar plexus is going to be here, just above the rib cage. So the solar plexus, you will do this. Put your hands like this. Put it at that level, and that is for your will. Now, you will say Ram, R-A-M. Ram. And you will continue to vibrate Ram with that formation of your hands. Now for your heart chakra, you'll have a the same as the root chakra. However, sorry about the dirt on my hand, I just now noticed some. However, what you'll do for your heart chakra is you'll put this at your heart and you'll put this on your left knee and you'll do it like this on your left knee and you'll say yam y-a-m yam and again you'll vibrate these sounds until you feel relaxed and you've let go for your throat chakra you'll put your hands together and you'll make this appearance. You'll put it here where your hands are at your stomach and you'll say ham, H-A-M, ham. Now the third eye chakra, it's here. Go like this. 
Go A A U U M. Aum. Aum. Finally, the crown chakra, which is go up, and it's going to be this point. So that's your understanding of the location. So put our hands, sorry, like this. Okay, here we are. Or you could put them like this, but it's easier to do it like this. And I have right over left. And then it's A-A-N-G. Ang, G, G. Um, um. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on performing your meditations and understand the purpose of using hand motion is to control the body. The purpose of using sound is to control the mind. So you become the master over your subconscious mind and the subconscious mind is your body. You need to have your mind control your subconscious. In order to do so, you need to align your chakras and you need your mind to determine the, to the body what it is it wishes for it to perform and how it wants it to act. And your mind will subjugate the vibrational frequencies which you wish to enhance within your life rather than allowing the subconscious body to enhance the vibrational frequencies of which you do not wish. Wishing you all a beautiful day.